Hey everyone, Cash here back with another video from Madden 15. Today we continue our career with Trey Cash and we had a disappointing finish last week. We lost to the Saints big time and taking a look around the league. The Texans knocked off the Patriots, Panthers lose to the 49ers, Broncos beat the Ravens and then our 41 to 10 loss. So the next round it's Texans at Broncos, Seahawks at 49ers. And we will advance, take a look here. And the Texans upset the Broncos and the 49ers take out the Seahawks. You know, I'm going to call that an upset as well. So the Super Bowl is going to be Texans at 49ers. And before we head to that game, we are going to take a look at Trey's stats. You see here at the end of this, this second season, 88 carry, 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 82 agility. That's still the one thing we got to work on, but those cost a decent amount of points to get that up. Juke move 75, spin 70, catch 75. Big reason for Trey's 90 receptions on the season, 75 catch, very good catch ratings for him. And you take a look at the rest of his stats. Consistency still pretty low, 68. That's pretty cheap. Got to work on that a little more. Stamina, 80 catch and traffic, 68. Awareness, ball carry, vision, 90. We worked a lot on that this year, and that helped us boost our overall to an 80. Now going ahead to the Super Bowl, the 49ers take out the Texans 27 to 13. So the San Francisco 49ers are your champions. And now it's time to move on to the offseason. Taking a look here, Trey, his contract, he signed a four-year deal, so he still has three years remaining. And at this point, a pretty cheap contract for him, an absolute monster season, Trey, now underpaid. Russell Wilson going to sign a big contract extension. Alfred Morris gets one as well from the Redskins. And Josh Gordon gets $83 million from the Browns. And then getting to the retirements, the surprise here, Tony Romo going to be the biggest name that retires. Kind of surprised to see him go so early. But that is what we have for the re-signing period. Now we move on to stage one of the offseason, and we have some more retirements. Ed Reed retires, and our first Saint movement champ, Bailey, retires. So taking a look at the Saints here so far in the offseason, we have Marcus Ball getting released, Curtis Lofton, DJ Williams, David Stewart, and LaRon McClain. And then the only re-signs we had was Tim Lolito and Junior Gallette. So not a lot of movement from the Saints. We move on to stage two. And here we will see a little bit more movement. But first, we're going to see Peyton Manning retire. So it takes him a little bit into the offseason, but he finally decides to hang him up. So the Broncos, without their star quarterback, they will turn to Brock Osweiler, I guess. But you see here, he signs with the Bears. So the Broncos go from having Peyton Manning to having no one. We'll see who ends up being their quarterback. But that's really all the action we see in Stage 3. We move on to Stage 4. And in stage four is where we will see a lot more moves made. C.J. Spiller going to sign with the Chargers for four years. Andrew Luck, the big surprise here. Five years, $75 million with the Dolphins. Very surprised to see him leave the Colts. Malcolm Jenkins joining the Colts. Brandon Spikes going to join the Texans. That defense gets even better. Roddy White is going to join the Browns. So he's going to team up with Josh Gordon. Leaves the Falcons. Jordan Cameron leaves for the Chargers. And Kirk Cousins. So the Colts move quick to find their replacement. Kirk Cousins looks to be the new starter in Indianapolis. And then we have Percy Harvin joining the Titans. They give him $42 million. D'Amico Ryans joins the Lions. Matt Forte leaving the Bears to join the Raiders. $21 million for him. And Ryan Tannehill going to be signed as Andrew Luck coming into town. He moves to Green Bay to be the backup quarterback there. DeAndre Hopkins joins the Cowboys. And then Janoris Jenkins Joins the Bengals for $25 million. Reggie Bush joining the Ravens for a very cheap $5.7 million. Reggie Wayne, looking for one more season, going to join the Patriots, where seemingly many old wide receivers go. And now looking at the Saints moves, we signed Leotis McKelvin, Justin Cunningham, Danny Woodhead, a running back. That's an odd decision there. Akeem Jordan, middle linebacker, Tyrone Crawford, and defensive end, Jackie Battle, a fullback, Tremont Patton, wide receiver, Davius Bass, tight end, C.J. Spillman, free safety. Rob Baronis, like to see that there, the kicker. Ron Parker, Mike Goodson, Melvin White, Glenn Foster. So we signed two halfbacks. The one, not really a big deal, but Danny Wood kind of is an odd choice. With the confidence modified overall, we still retain our number one seat in the halfback position. And lucky for that, because I think if he was a higher overall, they would immediately have made him the starting running back. So we'll keep an eye on that. But now it is time to move on to the draft. 
The Titans have the first pick. We're going to take a quick look here through the first round, get to the Saints. We are picking 26 here in this first round. You can see some of the other picks ahead of us, but now we're going to move ahead. The Titans are going to already pick. They take an outside linebacker. I'm going to stop it here and give you a look at the draft board. You see we have a corner, number two, another outside linebacker, wide receiver. A big mix here, a couple QBs thrown in there, a couple of middle linebackers but a pretty good spread here in the first round. The we have most of our big talents back, so it'll be interesting to see where the team kind of focuses things on here in the draft. But we're going to go through the picks here in the first round. A quarterback gets taken there to the Jets. Colts coming up next. They take a left tackle, and then the Dolphins at 7. And here, the Saints have traded up. So we trade up with the Dolphins, and we take Traylon Quick a corner. I was going to say corner was going to be our big focus with Champ Bailey retiring. And you take a look at the trade here. We trade for the seventh pick in this draft. We give away our first this year and our first next year, as well as a fifth next year. So two first-rounders to trade up for this corner. Kind of uh, seems a little odd to trade up that high for a cornerback since there usually are so many in the draft. We'll have to wait and see how good he is after the draft. But we'll continue to go through the first round here next. I'm going to stop it and give you a look at our picks now. We have a first. We never had a second. So now we have a third, fifth, sixth, and two sevenths. So not a lot of picks coming up in this draft anyways. So we kind of got to make them count. We're going to move ahead here now to the third round. And we have traded up again as we trade up farther into the third round. We give up a third and a fourth next year. So we've given up a lot of picks already for next season. But we trade up for this left tackle, Robin Burrell. And again, we're just going to have to wait and see how good he is after the draft. We're going to sim ahead here into the fifth round, I believe, is going to be our next pick. Yes, 26 in the fifth round. After the Lions have taken a wide receiver, we will advance and... We have made another trade. This time, at least, we're trading away a pick. We traded away to the Bengals. We get a fourth rounder next year, so we give up our fifth to get back some of those picks next year. I'm actually okay with that, as you know, it kind of seems like we've lost on our two picks so far. Now a pick in the sixth round. We take a tight end. We've already signed a couple tight ends in the offseason, so interesting pick there. Now our first pick in the seventh round, we take a D-tackle, Kamani Ratliff, and then our last pick is going going to be a middle linebacker, Jermaine Capers. So those are our picks. We will take a look at the pick signing. We have six picks, and the overalls are going to be, oh boy, let's take a look here. Trail on quick really is the big one. Okay, he's a 79. I'm totally fine with that. But Robin Burrell, our second pick we traded up for, is a 55 overall. That is absolutely horrible. The rest of the picks aren't too bad except for the last one. The 51, which apparently we traded back into the seventh round because I thought that middle linebacker was our last pick. So we traded back into our first round. Taking a look around the division, the Buccaneers have a pretty good draft. They get an 82 of 73 and then an 80 very late, but he is a fullback. So actually, I guess their draft was so-so. The Falcons, they do have a good draft. They go 80, 78, 77, 70, 64, 66. A very solid draft all around. They take three wide receivers there to end it out, which they needed after they lost Roddy White. And then everything immediately gets better when we take a look at the Panthers draft. They make three picks, a 68, a 67, and a 53. So at least we didn't have the worst draft in our division. And then the award for best draft is going to go to the Raiders. They have three first-round picks. They pick up three 80s, a 74, 68. They do have the 59 and the 66, but a very good top of that draft. And they look pretty good. So now we move on, and we have made it to the preseason. So that is the offseason. We made it through the team from the looks of it, has not really gotten any better. You take a look at our preseason schedule. We have Vikings, Texans, Buccaneers, and Bills. But going back to the team, oh, I guess we didn't really lose a whole lot. We lost Champ Bailey really is probably the biggest name that we lost. But as far as the additions, free agent signings, we didn't really make any big splashes. And the draft kind of went so-so, not really great. We picked up one good guy out of it. We'll see if he's going to start. I'll give you a look at the team, uh, how it looks to begin this season, as well as we'll play through all the preseason games in the next video. So you'll see that one next time, but that will be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.